Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can control your home alarm. You can activate and deactivate it using your Apple Watch. Hey Siri, turn on stay alarm. So now what's happened is stay mode's been activated. Or that's, if you're in the house, that's the mode you want to turn on so you don't turn off your sensors. Now let's deactivate the alarm. Hey Siri, turn off home alarm. There you go, the home alarm has just been turned off. All right, now we're gonna turn on the away mode. Hey Siri, turn on away mode. So now you actually hear the chime, so I'm actually gonna deactivate this. And now it's gone. So that's basically how you control it with the Apple Watch. I'm gonna show you now in the actual code using HomeBridge how I did this. All right guys, this is a copy of my configuration file. So my configuration file looks very similar to this, except I've obviously taken out all the sensitive data. Just to give you an idea of what my config file looks like, it starts off with the activating the home bridge. And then after that, I get into the different platforms that I've got. So I've got my Wink hub, which allows me to control things like my smoke detectors, which I have deactivated here, but you can technically control smoke detectors, garage doors, uh, locks, uh, lights, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I've actually turned off garage doors and smoke detectors in my Wink because I want to control my garage doors using the LiftMaster platform instead. And the smoke detectors, there's not a lot you can really do with it, so I just took it out so I don't have to see it all the time. Um, got my Harmony Hub, LiftMaster, and now this is what you actually need to do what I just showed you, and that is to control your alarm with your Apple Watch. You actually need something called an Invisalink module, and I'll put a link in the description to what that is. It's a device that basically connects into your DSC panel if you've got a DSC alarm panel, and that's gonna allow you to remotely activate, deactivate it, check on different zones and so forth. But the way to set that up in your config file, if you're using a HomeBridge setup, is you would activate it using a platform called Invisalink. You would put in whatever the local IP you've assigned to that, or if it's dynamically driven, then you'd have to pull that off of the, uh, the local setup page. The device type is always gonna be a DSD, DSC, sorry. And your password is gonna be whatever you use to log into your local network. So this is not your Izon or Invisalink internet password, it's gonna be your local password. Your pin is gonna be whatever you use to essentially uh, activate and deactivate your alarm. Now I know in the video I showed you that I was able to deactivate my alarm just using my Apple Watch, but I just did that for demonstration purposes. I highly recommend you don't do that and you leave it off. So I just put a default pin of 0000, because what you don't want to have happen is somebody get a hold of your phone and they just say, turn off home alarm and you're not protected anymore. I'd rather actually punch in my own pin, but Hey, if you want to do it, it's you can totally do it in that case, put in whatever your real pin is, but not something I recommend. And then I have all my different partitions on my alarm. So I've got the different zones. So for example, zone one for me is my front door. Uh, zone two is a motion sensor. Three is, uh, I believe it's the family room and so forth. So as you go down, you can put in as many as zones as your house has labeled. And it should be a replica of what's on your alarm system today. And then... You close off the uh, Invisalink platform and you can add in other platforms like IFTTT as well. And I've actually integrated IFTTT with my uh, Wink alarm. So my Wink alarm basically has its own door sensors, its own window sensors. And I've integrated that with my hardwired alarm as well. And I'll show you how that works in a different video. It's actually kind of neat. But to get you started on... Invisalink and to get you started on using or activating and deactivating your alarm using your Apple Watch or your iPhone or whatever smartphone you've got, you definitely need an Invisalink device and this is going to be the setup. So I'll put this 
uh, dummy code in my uh, in the description and what you can go and do is you can you know enter in all the information for your own system and it should work perfectly fine if you have any questions or concerns shoot me a message